Hello and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War and right here we're going to be watching the UCP forces being the United Coalition of Plastics move on the city of Palantis but before they do that they've got to go with these pinks right here charge over this shingle and attack a guy by the name of Gravis Von Pearl so Gravis Von Pearl is a very selfish rich Perlanese pirate right here look you can see him he is stationed right in the center between these two cannons, well these three big cannons. They've dismantled their ships and they're going to be stopping the UCP forces now from getting towards their king, which is King Arepo. So this is going to be an epic battle. It might be a little bit laggy at first, but I'm super excited to see the outcome because whatever happens in this video will depict who will win this war. Well, not this war, but this battle is literally a table turning war. So this will basically right this will define who will move forward towards palantis will the pinks move forward will the rest of the ucp be joining them or will gravis von pearl right here stop them so gravis von pearl right here is the last remaining berlinese general between the ucp and the king of the purple so who will win let me know in the comments will it be the united coalition of plastics or will it be the purples <laughs> We've got, a, we've got a really big army here. We've got tans, we've got pinks. I think it's going to be generated randomly. We've got greens coming in. Look, you can see they're all wearing white helmets, meaning they're all on the same team. Um, even though they've been fighting each other a lot in the rest of the series, they're not fighting each other anymore. They're all united under the United World Order, which is ruled by the reds and the greens, being Queen Ivy and also Saar Valentine. So, yes, we've got a nice... Uh, We've got New World Order right here, if you, if you ask me, and uh, they want the Purples to join them, but the Purples won't, enjoy, won't join them because of Obsidian. They're known as the Tainted Ones because Obsidian, being the Dark Lord, has unleashed his army on the world. They've managed to fight off the majority of their forces, but have yet to take out the Tainted Ones, being King Arepo and the rest of his uh, consortium of Warlords. This. It really reminds me of, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Michael Ackerman and his Sabretooth series. But it's a very similar battle to that look. A lot of defences. I don't think these spikes are going to do anything against these uh, tanks right here. Another thing I'm going to have to do as well is manually control these because for some reason they just refuse to fire on their own. So let's give it a shot. Let's just blind fire right about, I don't know, let's just make sure we're selecting first. There we go. Right there. Missiles fire! Uh, oh, that was a good shot right there from the artillery. That's taking out any soldiers moving through that forest, which appears to be the Greys by the looks of it now. So, huge shout out to Nyrok. Um, he helped me with some scripts on this map. I did make the map and the majority of the mission, but Nyrok is just a wizard when it comes to scripting in Men of War. And he has shown me a way of generating a random outcome every time you press the start button. So, like I say, not even I, the person that scripted this battle, knows what's going to happen. So, be sure to subscribe, like, and uh, turn your notifications on so you can find out what happens next. Because I don't know what's going to happen next. I'm super excited. And I'm guessing if you're watching this video, so are you. Here comes the pinks. We've got a uh, green tank over here. I don't know what he's doing. It looks like he's retreating. Um, there is only going to be tanks in this battle. They have kept all of their troop transports behind because there's just no point in charging troop transports or artillery or trenches or anything like that. They're just going to get absolutely obliterated. So they have just sent in their heavy tanks. You're going to be seeing some challenges. These are the new heavy tanks. They've replaced the Chieftain for the Blues. We have the T-80 for the Reds. Look, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Not sure if it's going to last much longer though. Not with all these shells of artillery hitting it. And then in the rear look, we've got greens, greys, pinks. Who are the uh, rebels you saw them in the previous battle? If you did miss the previous battle, be sure to check the link in the description. Oh dear, this could be a purple victory. So the green tank is now advancing. We've got blues, we've got greys, who are very, uh, it's very weird to see these two fashions fighting together because if you're familiar with this series and the story, they absolutely hate each other's guts. 
So now that they're united under one banner, they, uh, they've stopped the fighting. Everyone's friends now. And let's have a look at the purple defences anyway. But the purple defences are, are made up of two trenches. We've got a trench at the front lock. It's very World War One like with a zigzag. Um, I think they've lost the majority of their troops. They've got a few troops on the right still. But over here on the left, they, well, on, uh, it's still the right, I guess. I guess it's my left if I look at it from that way, and it's my right if I look at it from that way, but we're just going to call this our right-hand side. So we have a lot of defences at the top. I've tend to, I tend to keep the artillery on the high ground, and I've tend to have kept the lighter guns, such as the AA and the machine guns on the lower level of the trenches. But the majority of these seem to have been taken out. There's a lot of soldiers, though, on the second trench, which they're going to have a lot of trouble taking out because they have the moral high ground. Um, Gravis has been a bit of a coward, coward right there. Look, he's uh, looking down. I think he's trying to escape with his ingots. Look, he's like, what do I do? <laughs> uh, all of our guns seem to have been taken out. This guy is still alive, though. Let's just give a shot from this. Where should we shoot? Um, let's just do random. Close your eyes, close your eyes and shoot. There we go. I don't know. Let's see if it's actually hitting anyone. Nope, no one. <laughs> They're dead. Okay, now the United Coalition of Plastics are moving forward now. There's not much in this for the Purples. Not unless they just stay down and wait for them to get in the trenches and just gun them down as they enter the trenches. Oh, look at this part right here, though. I've not seen these big things shoot yet. Let's just shoot a few rounds of these off. Just oh, uh, that's why, because they can't aim that low down. These are, these are long-range artillery right here. I can imagine these things were giving them some grief before they even arrived. Damn it. We've got another tank moving forward now. I think this is uh, one of the last remaining tanks by the looks of it, and it's, it's green as well. A lot of purples on the left hand side still, so the left flank is covered. I'm not seeing much in the way of uh, blues, reds, greens, pinks, tans, oranges. Yeah, we're not seeing much in the way of them attacking. I've not seen any oranges yet, actually. Are there any oranges on this? But yep, they're over there, look, of course right in front of my eyes. But the centre seems to have fallen up. Doing a damn good job with the centre. Now they've just got to move down these trenches and this is why they created zigzag trenches up. For that exact reason of not just being able to shoot right down them. Grenade out. He's not even moving. Ooh. And he's not going to need a coffin. There's nothing, there's nothing left. Okay, you soldier, get on that machine gun, you got this. He's on it, no he's not, he's got off it, no he's back on it, he's repairing it, okay. Good move. UCP now moving through the centre on the cannons, this is what they need to do. Will they kill the general look? This is Gravis from Pearl right here. A guy from the Discord actually, this is a Discord submission, so if you haven't already, join the Discord, link is in the description. Give me your character submission. I really want to see what you guys come up with. I love reading them. I think we're nearly at 48,000 subscribers as of this video. We're literally like less than 30 or 40 subs away. Can't wait to get to 50. It's like a huge milestone. A dream come true if we get to 50,000 subscribers. So please help me. Join the Mighty Nation. I'm going to be part of this series. I do try to get you guys involved as much as I can through polls, through character creation, through roleplay, everything. Okay, centre is covered now. Not seeing any soldiers in the rear either. Purple still covering the whole battlefield though from the left side right here look. We've got a red charging. He's gone bald. He's lost his helmet. 
So Green was like, shoot him, he's not wearing a UCP helmet. It's not how it works, Private. So far, so good. Pink's still holding, though. I've got a lot of men over here. What I might do is I might actually retreat them to the rear trench, if anything, to try and stop the rest of the UCP forces from pushing forward. Do you reckon that'll work? It may, might work. Other than that, it's just a complete and utter <laughs> dead zone right here, though. We've actually got a leopard. I didn't even see him. He was just playing dead, I think. Biding his time. And how he came to take the glory of the field is like... <laughs> the grazer. Oh, maybe not. I spoke too soon. Poor dude. Sorry, mate. Other than that, at least we've got this dude right here, right? Is he still alive? No, he's dead. Okay. Never mind. Uh, I think the uh, the rest of the UCP forces are holding their troops back now. These army men, <laughs> they just don't want it. They've sent in enough. But they have done a damn good job. Look, look at this. Look, they've cleared two trenches. I've got all of this artillery as well, but there's still there's still purples on this flank right here. We can't leave until we complete the mission. They've nearly taken this flank out. Oh, they've got an AA gun covering them. This could help. This could really help. What are those guys going doing over here? Look, look they're like proper procrastinating. Look. Get over there and help your comrades. Everything's gone so quiet now. Considering just five, ten minutes ago, this place was just absolutely full of tanks, people, everything. And now it's just completely dead. Ooh. Don't know where that missile came from, but. Whoever he is, is a bad aim. I think he's trying to take out this AA gun right here. There we go. Oh, nearly. Throwing them back as well, look. Oh my god, look, the purples are actually able to reload their, their rockets. Um, there's a red gun that fell from the sky. You have to think what happened to the person that once owned it. This guy has got ammunition now. But the only problem is the range on this artillery, they can't shoot it close range. Not unless they tilt it forward, but they can't really do that. But let's just add to the effect to shoot some missiles over them. There we go. Covering fire. Other than this, I'm not seeing any more. Right, what we're going to do is, purples, charge the center, take the field. This could be a purple victory right here. No, don't, don't do it like that. I meant to get into that trench. Into the bottom trench. St stick to your cover. Apart from you guys. You guys could have got a good shot right there. How are we doing over here? How's Gravis? Is Gravis still alive? Oh, he's still alive. Look, General's still kicking it with his pink. AK right there. It's PK-47. I think the UCP forces might have to launch another attack on this. Or attack elsewhere because... Purples have actually held their own. They've done a damn good job, if anything. Let's just get every guy that's remaining on the field right now. Try, oh no, we've got a trench fall right here. They've took the first trench. Right, as of you guys, come on, back in the battle. To the second trench. We're gonna give them a nudge in the right direction. As long as I one click right, then they won't get killed, I hope. Or not. Maybe. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, if I one click, they tend to engage with the AI. If I double click, they. Uh, they just ignore anything and everything and get themselves killed. This is a definite purple victory right here. Gotta give it to the purples. This is like their... This will be their second victory of this campaign. 
But the UCP forces have a lot of men in reserve. They're just going to pick yet another front to attack from. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me build next. I mean, this has been an awesome defense mission right here. Look, look at these. It's been absolutely epic to play with these. Um, but yeah, just like real toy army men, I want you guys to tell me what we want to set up next. And I want you to tell me where you think they should attack next. Because this has been an absolute fail for the UCP forces. Unless you want me to just attack them on the same map again. Maybe come back with a wave 2. But with some maybe some better tanks. Maybe some artillery cover. So on and so forth. But if we do that then I'm, I'm just going to have to fill up every one of these trenches with purples again. Because it would give them time to do so you see. Yeah. I think we're going to end this video here. Because this is a definite, definite purple victory. So, UCP dudes, retreat, get out of here, get back home, tell the tale, tell the tale everyone, go, go, strategic, um, retreat right here, still quite a lot of men left, look, see we've got a good 20 or 30 dudes ready to tell the tale, yeah, if you, if you enjoyed this battle, let me know, like I say, like that, um, like that like button, I don't know what I'm saying, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the My Nation. And yeah, we're going to come back for a part two on this. So leave your feedback in the comment section. And I'll see you all in the next video.